We're going to take a look at some SCR monitoring system faults. This was in an ISX 2350 tractor, 2016 I believe it was, so it's a CM2350. And it's a fault that you might see. Uh, and what drove the fault, which was a 6656, and that's SCR system monitoring malfunction. And what drove that was, in our case, the, uh, the little module on top of the depth tank that controls the float, which measures the level of the depth, the temperature of the depth, and the quality of the depth, that module randomly stopped communicating with the ECM and then finally uh, stopped altogether. So it was intermittently stopping and then it stopped altogether. The D-rate time stamps are a little bit off on this. There, there's a pattern that they follow when the F fault goes active for SCR. The engine will run normally for a little while and then it goes into a D-rate if nothing changes. That's about after an hour. But in this case, if you look at the timestamps, you'll see that it went into a D-rate almost immediately. So I suspect this fault was going active and inactive in the MIL system. We talked about that already. Was watching this and remembering, and that's why as soon as this went active and stayed active, uh, it went right into a 3714 torque D-rate. But... Uh, it didn't run long enough to go into the 3712, which is a severe derate, and or finally just idle, and that would have happened if they had added more than 15% fuel to the fuel tanks, or let the engine idle for over one hour with no wheel speed, or shut the engine off and then restarted it. And that's the uh, third stage of derate. So uh, on the right side, you see I've got that yellow number one. So the yellow number one was caused by the, the red two, three, and four. And the again, the def head module tells the ECM three things, quality, tank temperature, and tank level. And all three of those, as you can see from the fault counts, stopped communicating at the same time. So it was a module failure on the def header. And on the bottom, 3714, that's the D-rate that it drove. Five was the result of number one, which was the result of number two, three, and four. So if they had uh, driven this a little longer, probably would have seen a 3712, which was a severe D-rate. And the SCR system, Fault on top, the 6656. That went active, I think, when those faults finally went active and stayed active. I think when they were blipping on and off, uh, the system didn't log the 6656. But when they came active and stayed active, which if you look, was uh, 17 minutes and 44 seconds before we actually hooked up to this. And the, the D-rate stayed active, so the driver stopped, and then we took care of it. So uh, all we had to do is change the def, the def head assembly in the def tank, and key on and start it. The faults all went inactive. We cleared them, and when we cleared them, the MIL light went out, and he was on his way. If he had been on the road and someone came out and replaced the def head, and he, they didn't have software to clear the faults, he would have still been okay. Everything would have gone inactive, but his MIL light would have stayed on. That's the outline of the engine. It would have stayed on for three trips or a total of just over uh, eight, eight more hours of running. And I did a video on the MIL light if you need to understand how that works. And then he would have been fine after that. And don't forget when the MIL light's on, if that's the only light on, you're not you're not being derated. That's simply reminding you that it's watching the um, emission system. Okay, thanks. See you next time on Engine Shop Joe.